Okay, we want to look at this limit. This is the definition of the derivative, but um, it is an average rate of change. We have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. What that is, is the difference between um, y's divided by the difference between x's. We have two points. We have x and f of x, and we have x plus h and f of x plus h. If we subtract the y's, we get the numerator. If we subtract the x's, x plus h minus x, we get the denominator. Okay, so this is the slope of the secant line. But the limit, as the gap between these points gets small, the gap between these points is the gap between these points is h. The limit as the gap between these points gets small will be uh, the actual tangent line slope. And so that's what they want us to find. So we need the x, which is 7, the f of x, which is the square root of 7. We need the x plus h, so 7 plus h, and the f of 7 plus h. We subtract these. This is our um, x is playing a role of, uh, 7 is playing a role of x. So everybody should see an x, you can put a 7. And this is what you get. These two points here, call this point P, call this point Q. We'll, uh, we'll take the slope of the line PQ which is the f of 7 plus h minus the f of 7 all over h. Here's the f of 7, and the f of 7 plus h, that's going to be the square root of 7 plus h. Okay, and we take the limit as h goes to 0. Square root of 7 plus h minus square root of 7 all over h. Now what we have to do is find this limit. We can't plug in h equals 0 because it causes the denominator to be 0, but h equals 0 also causes the numerator to be 0 and so uh, we can maybe algebra our way out of it by multiplying by something, and it's going to be the conjugate. We take 7 plus h and put a plus sign in between it and root 7. It's the same thing on the left and right, but a different sign in between. And after multiplying out, the middle terms cancel out. You end up with, continue to write limit though, um, you end up with 7 plus h, and then the middle terms cancel out, and then you get minus 7. And that's all over h, but not h by itself. We have this guy too. Don't, don't, don't distribute in the denominator. Leave that as it is. Root of 7 plus h plus root of 7 times uh, all that quantity is multiplied by h. This is our issue. This is our thing that's causing us to divide by zero, but after simplifying the numerator, we can then cancel. What we're looking at is the limit as h goes to zero, h over h, um, and then we have the square root of seven plus h plus square root of seven, and now we can cancel these h's. Left over then, you don't have to write this step, but we can immediately plug in h equals zero at that point, but let me go ahead and write this step. And now we'll plug in h equals 0. And what we get out is 1 over the square root of 7. I'm sorry, there's a plus sign there. Uh, 1 over the square root of 7 plus the square root of 7, or 1 over 2 square roots of 7. If you want to, you can rationalize that um, to be uh, <laughs> multiplied top and bottom by root 7. But um, 
it's root 7 over 14. Um, I like this answer. Uh, here's an alternative answer. And that represents the slope of the tangent line. That represents the derivative. The definition of the derivative is what we're dealing with here when we're trying to find this limit of the secant slopes that gives you the tangent line slope.